day two of the mass vaccination clinic at Trinity United Church in Kelowna. And so far, no problems. And the people we spoke to here at the clinic are just pleased to get their shot. I mean, it's a matter of faith. You have faith in it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I'm sure it's going to work. I was kind of concerned about it uh, a little bit because uh, we heard about uh, uh, I guess here, uh, blood clots. We did have the virus, and now we just had the vaccine. Hang on, you guys actually got the virus? Yeah. You did? Yeah. We yeah, had it in November. Wow. Yeah, I was, uh, I was uh, uh, 20 days in the hospital. So you just had your shot? Yes, yeah. How do you feel about that? Great. Yeah? Great. Any pain on the point where the needle went in or anything? No, oh, just like a mosquito bite. <laughs> Do some of them arrive with apprehension and, and feeling anxiety? There's been a little bit, but I think it's just such a welcoming atmosphere and it's so well run that it's completely putting people at ease. They're getting time with either the nurse, or we actually have a couple doctors that are uh, here as part of our clinic as well, to get their, answer, their questions answered and really to put them at ease. So. I think the experience in itself is so positive that that anxiety is kind of going down pretty quickly. And when people get the shot, obviously they might feel the needle going in. Are, are people experiencing much in the way of discomfort, even at the point of the injection after they A get it? A bit of soreness, um, like we do with flu shots, things like that. But I'm not hearing of any major events. If there was, it has to get reported, so I would hear about it. And I understand the protocol is that after you get your shot, you stick around for 15 minutes yes. or so just to make sure you, you might have some reaction. Yes, we, same thing with flu shots. You have to stick around for 15 minutes in case there's any adverse reactions. We do have nurse and volunteers that are milling around in that area, just watching people, checking in with them if it looks like they need a little bit of something. And for the most part, they're fine. And we're sort of going at the pace now of uh, it gets one year younger each day. I guess Correct. we're ticking down to about 83 now. I, yeah, I believe we're at 83 today. By Friday, we'll be at 80. So anyone 80 and older will be able to book an appointment as of Friday. And are there any reminders you want to give to people when their turn comes up about how they should prepare to come? Yep. First off, I would say if you're going online and booking, be prepared, have your health care um, number there. If you need, have your address, everything written down so that you can just follow it logically when you're asked the questions. When you show up, we do ask you to uh, show us your care card. That way we can verify that you are who you say you are. And uh, wear a short sleeve shirt. Just makes it easier to get your jacket on and off and for us to be able to give you a shot seamlessly. All right. Thanks so much for your time today. Thank you.